my name is Lawrence. I am a business intelligence consultant and I will be your instructor throughout this data quality and ETL testing tutorial. So what is this tutorial all about? In this course, we're going to look at um, data quality and ETL testing. So we're going to start with a brief introduction on ETL testing. What is ETL testing? And what is the difference between ETL, which stands for Extract, Transform and Load, and ELT, which stands for Extract, Load and Transform uh, Testing. So we're also going to look at what is a data warehouse and how does ETL or ELT fit within a data warehouse or a data lake or data repository environment. Um, next, we're going to look at data categories and also data quality. So before we actually look at data quality, we're first going to look at what are the different categories of data that we can have. We're going to look at transactional data, master data, reference data, metadata, and so on, before we actually look into data quality rules and the data quality dimensions. Um, so data quality dimensions are different dimensions that we use to measure data quality within the data quality framework. So data quality rules actually help us in measuring data quality. So based on our data quality dimensions, we're actually going to create rules that measure our level of data quality for each of those dimensions. So we have different dimensions for validity of our data, for the uh, consistency of our data set, for data lineage and the integrity of our data and so on. And then we're also going to look at how we can build database views to have an actual view of our data quality rules and actually monitor our data quality within a database view for each of those dimensions. So we're going to look at integrity, we're going to look at the completeness of our data set, we're going to look at duplicates within our data set, um, and also going to build dashboards uh, based on those database views. Uh, we're going to use a PostgreSQL database in this exercise, but you could also use an Oracle database, for example. And then we're going to use a visualization tool. In this case, we're going to use ClickSense, but you can also use uh, Tableau or Spotfire or MicroStrategy. Just any visualization tool will do. Finally, we're going to end with a course summary and also a final quiz just to summarize everything and practice what you basically learned throughout this course. So this is actually a very practical course because we're going to look at how we can use SQL queries to build database views and test our ETL flows. We're going to use queries, for example, to test the completeness of our data set by counting the number of null records. We're also going to build custom queries based on some business rules and exercises within this tutorial. We're going to store these queries in database views. So these are all uh, examples of database views within PostgreSQL. And in this example, we're going to use PostgreSQL, which is an open source database, but you could also use, for example, Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server. After that, we're going to build data quality dashboards uh, in ClickSense, which is a visualization tool. We're going to build dashboards to report on our data quality requirements. So who should follow this course? Uh, basically, everybody who wants to learn more about ETL or ELT testing and data quality, but in particular, if you're a business analyst or a data analyst and you want to learn more about ETL testing, then you should definitely follow this course. Also, for software engineers that want to automate a part of the testing process by using database views and building dashboards, data stewards and managers who want to apply data quality standards within their organization and just want to get a general understanding about data quality and ETL testing. There are also some prerequisites uh, if you want to follow this course. Some basic knowledge of SQL would definitely be useful and also some experience with visualization tools uh, like ClickSense or Tableau, Power BI and so on. Within this tutorial, we're also going to use a database. We're going to use PostgreSQL, but you could also use Oracle, for example. And we're going to use ClickSense as a visualization tool. So to be able to follow the exercises in the course, it's recommended that you have some basic setup consisting of a database and a visualization tool. But of course, it's up to you which database and which visualization tool you would like to use. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to use PostgreSQL and ClickSense as a visualization tool. So good luck and enjoy the rest of this course. If you have any questions, just let me know and send me a message or leave a message on the course landing page.
and also don't forget to give this course a rating. So good luck and enjoy the rest of this course.